Hi, my name is Mona Vernon. I run Thomson Reuters Labs, and I'm here with Professor Eric Brynjolfsson, who's the director for the Initiative of Digital Economy at MIT. I'm really excited today to talk to you about the MIT Inclusive Innovation Competition, and, right. and tell me a little bit about how that's fostering innovation. Well, when we created the Inclusive Innovation Competition, we really had three big goals. The first was to recognize and reward the innovative people and organizations that are creating shared prosperity. The second thing we wanted to do was speed their progress and their success so that the thousands, actually millions of people that they are helping would get that help faster. And the third, and maybe the most important goal, was to encourage other people to bring attention to this issue and motivate thousands of other innovators to do what these amazing people have done. As you're looking and studying the digital economy, what are the sort of the key trends that you're seeing these days? Well, let me just describe three broad megatrends that are really important. The first one, obviously, is the digitization of just about everything. And when you make something digital, it has very low marginal cost, so you can reproduce it almost for free. The second big trend was the growth of networks. We now have a nearly ubiquitous global network that's connecting almost everybody and soon everything on the planet. And the third thing is the use of intelligent machines to take care of a lot of tasks that previously only humans could do. Many pundits are, are creating a lot of fear around robots eating our jobs. How are you helping change that conversation? One of the reasons we created the Inclusive Innovation Competition was to highlight some of the people and the organizations that are using technology to create new business models, new ways of matching people and machines, new ways of adding skills to the workforce. And by doing that, we can show that not only technology can be used to create shared prosperity, but it already be, is being used in that way. In the process of building an inclusive economy, you know, what role does technology play? Well, one of the things that technology can do is it can create a sustainable business model and a lasting effect. It's great to have a one-shot benefit for everybody, but if you build the technology right, you're going to have a sustainable impact and one that even grows over time. Using the initiative for the digital economy as a vehicle, what do you hope to achieve or accomplish in the next five to ten years? These are incredibly exciting times. Uh, it's my view that we're on the cusp of really the, one of the biggest transformations in human history. And so these next ten years will be p pivotal. We have amazing technologies that are in the pipeline, but we want to ground that transformation in really hardcore research. And there's no better place to do that than here at MIT. We've got some of the best technologists in the world, some of the best economists, some of the best management thinkers. We're bringing them together to tell a story and to create a vision for how these technologies can lead to a world of shared prosperity. Mm -hmm.